What is good? We're back with the Madden 09 franchise with the G-Man. And we're going to Green Bay to take on the Packers. And they're sitting at 2-2, two and two, but this team is better than their record is. They got 599 overall players. They're banged up, though. Phillip Rivers is done for the year. Matt Schaub is out for one more week. Brian Brom is going to be starting at quarterback for them. I don't know how he got to 83 overall. Maybe because he's sitting behind those guys. Ryan, Brant, or Ryan Grant is still there, but Brandon Jackson... Greg Jennings is banged up. Jordy Nelson's done for the year, so they, their best receiver is James Jones. They do have Daniel Graham and Donald Lee, but still, they are banged up. Their top quarterback is out for the season. They have a, a receiver out for the season. Greg Jennings is out. At this point in time, he was really good, you know, before he started, you know, taking shots at Aaron Rodgers. Their D-line is crazy. Let's see. And their linebacker in core is still pretty solid. Now, they did lose Al Harris, but they brought in Lee Bodden to replace him. So they have Lee Bodden and Charles Woodson. They got Nick Collins and Ken Hamlin. Atari Bigby's probable, so he'll be playing most likely. Crosby and Leckler are both 99 overall. So let's get to it, man. You know, this team's a little beat up, so they're not at full strength. So we do have the advantage that we are a little healthier, despite, you know, I think O'Hare is still out for us at least. So we're going to get the ball to start. So Norris Moss with the kickoff return. He's going to take it to the right side. I really should stop doing return middle and do return right or return left and see what happens. Because I'll always be calling middle. Right here, Jacobs on first down gets a nice run. That's going to be about eight. We'll take that. Second down and one. I formation. Jacobs bounces outside. Should have just went straight up. That's not his game. Third down now looking. David Tyree brings it in. That's going to be a first down for the Giants. There we go. Eli looking to throw on first down. Gets hit as he's letting that one go, and that's why the pass was errant. Second down, trying to give it to Jacobs, and that time he's going to get what he can get, but he loses the ball. Thank you for Kevin Boss, because that was a fumble, clearly. Third down, Eli, he's getting pressure from the left, rolls back to his right, finds Plaxico, and that's going to be a first down. We run the same exact play. Eli drops back. Looking left side, decides to go back to the same route, and Nick Barnett sniffed that one out. He said, you're not slick, Kyle or you're not slick Eli in this case. Right here, Brian ba Brom, he's going to knock off the first guy. Whitner forces the fumble, though, and Brom's hurt. The Packers do recover, but Brian Brom is hurt. So in comes Shane Leckler, the punter at quarterback. They do have a fourth quarterback, for, but for whatever reason, apparently Shane Leckler's a more qualified quarterback. Uh, after that throw, I don't think so. We're just going to be sending a lot of pressure at this point if that's what it's going to be like. Madison Hedgecock, he's got the catch and run. Okay. First down, New York. Now the handoff is to Jacobs. He tries to get skinny through the hole. It's not going to work out. Green Bay does have a pretty good defense. And Brian Brom is out four weeks. The Packers are really down bad right now. They got Phillip Rivers out for the season. Matt Schaub out another week. Brian Brom, good catch by Steve Smith, by the way. Brian Brom's out now. And they do have a fourth quarterback, but for whatever reason, they'd rather play Shane Leckler at quarterback. So, cool. I guess we're going to be going against a punter at quarterback. So, if we lose, we're definitely going to get clowned for this. We can't lose to a punter at quarterback. Come on, now. Third down now. Eli looking to throw into his right. Gets it away, and that's out of bounds. Incomplete. However, Aaron Campman is called for roughing the passer. Let's go back and see what this roughing the passer was. And uh-oh, Subert's not happy. He wants to fight Campman. And look at our rookie center, Miller. He's saying, nah, nah, we don't need that right now. Yeah. Ticky-tacky call, but hey, we'll take it. It's in favor of us. First down, Brandon Jacobs. Second down, seven coming up. Hand off to Jacobs again. Gets right upfield. He's up to about the six-yard line. That's a first down. Set up first and goal. What are we going to do? We're going to hand it off to Jacobs again. Yes, sir. Inside the five now. Second down, we're going to look to throw. Get it to Kevin Boss. Quick, Kevin Boss, he's in the end zone. All you got to do is take a couple steps forward, and he's in. <laughs> Touchdown for Kevin Boss. And then right there, tried to rip the ball out of that guy's hands, but it didn't work. Leckler on first down. He's going to go down for the sack. Second down, Shane Leckler sets up the snap screen to James Jones. Third down, Shane Leckler throwing it up there. That's right to Patrick Willis, and he drops the pick. Really? This is kind of disappointing, man. They got Shane Leckler in at quarterback. Second down coming up. Jacobs play action. Looking for Plaxico to the end zone. And it's caught. 
touchdown, Plaxico. And he's shushing the crowd, but you know, I, I kind of like, bro, we got Shane Leffler in at quarterback for them. It's not that difficult to beat this team as of right now. As good as their defense is, they're not going to do much on offense, if anything. He does complete that one to Daniel Graham, though, and that's going to be a first down for the Packers. Now the handoff is to Ryan Grant. So now it's second down and seven. Ryan Grant up the gut. Okay, that's about a five-yard gain. Third down coming up for the Packers. We send pressure. Butler can't get Shane Leckler down. Then he stands back up and knocks him down. So James Butler gets the credit for the sack. First down handoff is to Brandon Jacobs, but we can't block Colin Jenkins. Second down. Eli gets it away quick. Plaxico gets it. Okay, well, we got what we got. Third down, seven. Trying to set up Manningham on the out here. Can we get it? He has it, and then he drops it when he gets hit. I don't even think he had enough for the first anyway. Shane Leckler, he's going down for the sack. That's Justin Tuck in the backfield. Second down and 16. Leckler looking to throw. Takes a shot deep. Oh, my gosh. Daniel Graham burned our defense deep. We got burnt by a tight end. Not that he's a, not that tight ends can't burn a defense deep, but usually you don't have a tight end that can run like a receiver like that or that is that fast to burn your defense deep. Anyway, carrying on. Third down and two. Leckler looking left side, and he made a great effort. That receiver came to try to keep his feet in bounds, but they were not in bounds, so they have to go with the field goal. So under two minutes left in the first half, we give it to Sonoris Moss, and Sonoris Moss is getting some solid space for these kickoff returns. So we got some space to work with. Eli looking to throw, and he was lucky he got that one away, and it was counted an incomplete pass because he almost got sacked. Second down to Maude Bradshaw on the run. Third down and two coming up. We give it to Bradshaw again. That's a first down. Oh, man, if he was just a little bit quicker through that hole, who knows? First down, Eli Manning rolling to the left, looking for Hedgecock, and that's out of bounds. Try to throw it a little bit more upfield instead of out. Oh, well, though. Second down, Eli looking, under pressure, rolling to his left. He's got to try to do something with it. He's going to take off and get a few yards. He loses the football, however, and then recovers it while standing out of bounds. But the clock, I don't know, no, we took a timeout, my bad. And third down, Kevin Boss, he's got a first down and more before A.J. Hawk runs him down. We got to take another timeout. First down, Eli looking, taking a shot deep to the end zone for Steve Smith. And that's incomplete. And we have to take another timeout because Eli hurt his knee. Oh, my gosh. Great. So in comes Josh McCown. Second down and 10. Handoff is to Ahmad Bradshaw. That's not going to work. They were on that. Third down. They're stacking the box. So we're going to try to audible. Looking for Tyree deep. And we overthrow him. He's not very fast. So that's going to be the end of the first half. And the Packers defense is keeping them in this game because let's be real. Their offense ain't doing jack you know what. We are shutting them down. And they got Shane Leckler and a quarterback. And he's trying his best. He is, but he is not a quarterback. He's a punter. He was a really good punter in his day, though. I will give him that. He was a pretty good punter for those that didn't know. First down and 10. Handoff is to Ryan Grant. He's going to get about five yards up to about the 50-yard line. Second down coming up for the Packers. Oh, we got seven. My bad. I can't count. Shane Leckler, he's going down. That's Justin Tuck again. No, it's Matthias Kiwanuka. Third down. Got to get it away quick. That's tipped. Almost picked off. Fourth down coming up for the Packers. Now we hand it off to Ahmad Bradshaw. He's going to bounce it outside. Tries to get upfield. He's got a couple yards. Second down coming up. Now it's Brandon Jacobs' turn. They're on that too, man. This Packers defense, I'm not going to lie. They're like that. Third down. Eli looking. Moving to his left, sets his feet, now comes back to his right, throws it up in desperation for Tyree, or no, Manningham, I think. Manningham went that side because they crossed. Ryan Grant, now the Packers have the ball, they're moving. Can't remember if it was a bad punt or if they just moved the ball and I forgot to show it. Either way, Ryan Grant gets him into the red zone with this run. That was a pretty big run for the Packers. They give it to him again. They're feeding him. He's hot. We got to stop him, man. They're inside the 10. This is not good. Come on, defense, wake up. Second and one. Shane Leckler, he gets sacked. Patrick Willis gets the sack right there on the blitz. Third down. We send another blitz. And Ryan Grant almost gets out of that blitz and gets a good run, but luckily we bring him down. So Green Bay gets another field goal. First down for New York. Firing it to Steve Smith. He's going to bring it in. First down for the G-Men. Eli looking, rolling to his right, going to go to Plaxico. Plaxico brings it in another first down. Now the handoff is to Jacobs. Nick Barnett shoots right through the A-gap and makes the tackle. Second down and 12. Eli looking short, 
Matthews, the backup tight end, had it, and then he got the ball punched out. Third down, they send pressure off the edges. Eli, he's back deep, tries to go back across to Jacobs, who brings it in. I didn't expect him to make that catch, but he did. So now we're going to put up a field goal. Lawrence Tynes, kick is up and good. So now Kane with the kick return, and Kane's going to get a good one. And Kane, he's out across the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. Can Whitner catch it all? He was right there. He should have dove. At least try. So now, now Green Bay is really close to us. So we got to wake up offense. We need to get a touchdown right there. Steve Smith said, okay, we're not going to lose to a punter. We're not playing around. Play action. Eli taking a shot to the end zone for Plaxico. Can we get it? Oh, he got it. Touchdown, Plaxico Burris. It was initially looked like it was going to be a drop, but it tipped into his hands. He toe taps and gets the touchdown. Let's go. Man, we'd be scoring on that play. I love that play. We'd just be throwing it up to him. He makes a play. 6'5 in those long arms. Mm -mm -mm. If only he didn't shoot himself all those years ago. Think about that for the Giants. Second down and 16. Shane Leffler, he's going to loft that one up there. That's picked off by Namdi. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. And then here's this nice catch and run by Eli to uh, Plaxico. Right here, rolling to his right, sets his feet, throws it. Plaxico makes the catch. I got to show the replay because I don't know where the other video is. First down, Brandon Jay goes, okay, he gets to about like the 15-yard line. Second down coming up after that. Oh, my bad. Third down, apparently I don't know what the heck's going on, but I haven't looked at this video in three months. I'm going to keep it real. Kick is up and good by Tynes. We'll take it. 27-13. We're up by two touchdowns. Shane Leckler. That, oh my gosh, that is terrible. It bounced right off of Whitner's hands and his chest into the receiver's hands. That is terrible. Shane Leckler, he's going down. We get a sack right there. I don't know if they gave it to OC or Patrick Lewis right there. Second down. Shane Leckler throwing it down the left side of the field. James Jones makes the catch in double coverage. First down after that. Leckler dumps it short to Ryan Grant. Makes the guy miss. Keeps going. So now it's first again for them. Shane Leckler looking. He's going to go down for the sack. We get back there. Second and 18. Leckler, he's going down. Patrick Willis got him there. Third down now. Shane Leckler looking. Justin Tuck gets him. All right, now it's fourth down. I don't know why they're running that formation and fourth and very long. And Willis gets him again. Patrick Willis holding it down. That's game. I will commend this team. That was one heck of an effort. Three sacks on the game for Patrick Willis, five tackles, and a dropped interception. He should have had an interception earlier in the game. And then here's us on third nine trying to run out the game. Jacobs lowers his the shoulder. There we go. That's a pretty punishing run, and that's going to end the game. And I will give this Packers team a lot of credit. With a punter and a quarterback, and that's the most sacks we've had in the game because I just blitzed him. I knew that it was Shane Leckler, and we just blitzed him 13 sacks in the game. But I will commend that team because they put up a valiant effort and their defense made it really close. Let's see how Shane Leckler did. 10 of 16 and one pick. So that's he's, he's done better than some quarterbacks have done against us. Think about that. Like, look back at that. You saw his rating right there and his stats. He's done better than some quarterbacks have against us. Flaxco had a big game for us today in this game. James Jones and Daniel Graham kind of stepped up for them. Ryan Grant, too. Let's look at these sack stats. So three from Willis and Tuck, two from Kiwanuka and Butler. Then you get one from Newman Yura, one from Whitner, and one from Keith Bullock. Everybody was getting in on the action. And then Namdi with the INT. In Green Bay, they, they were pretty solid themselves. Go ahead and show the rest of these. We got the Saints next in New Orleans, so that's going to be a big one because the Saints are pretty good, and they got better. So it really is the Packers, the Saints, and us. It seems like they're the top teams. It seems like. But, you know, the Packers, they're banged up, so we shall see. Because I don't know when Matt Schaub comes back, he's going to have to hold it down for them. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to get out of here. Holla.